Hello friends, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. Today we're going to have a lot of fun shooting the Russian Azot Combi shotgun round. These slugs were sent to us by the famous Russian YouTuber Alexei Lavrov. He wanted to see how these things flew through the air, patterned, and all that stuff. Now as far as I know, these are only available in Russia, and I found them on a few different Russian reloading websites such as this. The Azot Combi is for those people who can't make up their mind if they want a slug or buckshot. Now this consists of four lead balls held in this small uh, lower portion of the wadding. And then on top of that is the lead slug. And you can actually shoot the lead slug portion of this by itself. It has its own gas seal system and everything. The overall weight of this load is about 34 grams, so it's kind of on the heavy side. All right, we're gonna try out the uh, Russian. This is the Azot Combi. You've seen the Azot shot here on the Tau Flitter Mouse channel before, a slug that looks very much like that one right there. However, this one being a Combi has a stack of four little lead balls in there. Four balls and a slug, which just happens to be the name of my new boy band that I'm putting together. <laughs> so, a little pyramid of four balls slugged on top. Let's give it a try. Center of the orange triangle, anytime you're ready. Wow. Okay, let's review the high speed footage. Here we see this clean separation of the rear wadding with the front of the slug. However, the balls did not separate from the slug itself. Now we certainly didn't expect that to happen. Let's continue on. So uh, there's what we just pulled out of Doug's vest. Did not make it through. We don't know where the balls are at, though. <laughs> However, we cannot find them in the vest. Who knows? Probably hit the table or something. For those asking today, we're using a uh, a Swiss Army multi-tool given to me by a friend of mine at the uh, Kontunspolizei in Zurich. So, wow. Yeah, pretty cool little tool. Actual Swiss? Actual Swiss. Wow. <laughs> And I looked at these when I was in Switzerland a couple months ago, and they're pretty pricey. It looks like an expensive they're Swiss like Army knife. They're 85 bucks. I was surprised. How much? They're about 85 bucks. Oh, I thought it would be in a couple hundred or a hundred. Okay, aiming for the logo. Anytime. That one seemed to... That well, almost knocked into the water. Felt like it had a lot more recoil to it. It felt different, huh? Yeah. Okay, so we have... That's definitely a double lot and a slug. They're bigger than double lot. They're like nine millimeter, eight millimeter, something like that. I can't remember. I, I measure them, but pretty close. I mean, you're aiming here. Yep, I was aiming there. Slug and one of the one of the uh, balls. Okay, it'll be interesting to see where the other ones took off to. Okay, once again we see the rear half of the projectile falling away, kind of like the first stage on a rocket, and the balls are actually starting to spill out at this point. It actually looked like one ball made it out, another one came out and got sucked back in. Definitely some weird stuff going on here. Gigantic trailer hitch. <laughs> Giant trailer hitch. I'm ready. Oh, wow. I think you had some hang oh, time. Hey, and we got it. penetration. Oh, wow. Now this shot's almost identical to the last shot. Once again, one ball falls out. The rest are still sucked in that cavity behind the main slug, kind of riding in the supersonic wake, that low pressure area right behind the slug. But boy, oh boy, that thing had a lot of energy traveling at almost 1,500 feet per second and penetrated that Castile sphere. So... <laughs> Yeah, what is that? It flaked off a big piece of it. It's like a knife blade. Look at that. Wow. And then we split the tape, so that was good. That was uh, the objective. And then look at that. Wow. Pushed right through there. Full penetration. Not, not didn't come out the back. Joe Heaton, your pan, your pan, your stainless steel pan. I'm ready. Wow. Now that one had some recoil to it. So we got a crazy big uh, slug hole right there. Obviously one of the little little uh, balls hit there. And best we can tell, another one hit up in here. There's a, a definite dent right there. 
Okay, this one we see some completely different. The, the slug itself is traveling at a higher velocity in the four balls, and only one of the balls actually hit the stainless steel pan. So I don't know what went wrong, or if anything did go wrong, if this is how the slug is actually supposed to perform or not. Let's continue. Okay, ballistic gel gummy bear. The ladies like it. <laughs> Sent those three just bouncing. Now this shot is, once again, a little different. We've got the slug flying through the air, followed by, it looks like, three of the balls maybe one ball is still inside the cavity of the slug and all of them kind of grouped very closely together now this shot was a little low and a little to the left but heck just hitting the target sometimes is half the battle where are you aiming for i'm going to aim right at the top of the big wheel right at the base of the cab okay ready? anytime ready wow look at that and there's the big wheel with its top piece missing now it looks like the shot was just a little bit low, and we only have two balls flying independently. But look at that, every one of those wooden wheels on that tractor were completely shot off, and the little trailer was left undamaged. Very unusual. Hey look, there's a evil troll <laughs> baby over there. I'll get him. So we got him. <laughs> so we got him right in the eye. I think maybe something hit here too. Could be one of those balls flying around. Yeah. There's his exit wound. He's holding up pretty good though. <laughs> okay, we gave the slug a little more distance this time. This is closer to 25 yards away. And look at the performance. That is exactly how this slug combination is supposed to perform. So this is a pretty good clue here. It looks like all the previous shots that were taken at about 15 yards were just too close and it didn't have time to really do its thing. Okay, let's hit the orange circle. Orange circle, 20 yards, when you're ready. Yeah. Right, dead center wow. of the circle. <laughs> Look at that, that slug went right in the center of that circle at uh, 20 yards. And then we have down here, right on the Peter nuts, we got one, two, three, four balls. Not bad of a spread for what, about a little over 20 yards or so. Yeah. Pretty good, but, but that's, that. That's impressive. That's the money maker right there. <laughs> the money maker, this is the money maker. I've seen the show. <laughs> Who the hell is that? That's Channing Tatum. He's riding an Indian motorcycle. <laughs> And uh, he's got a little AR-500, and an AR on this one stands for Aluminum 500, packed with a little chalk dust. It looks like a rebel neckbeard dude. And he's, he's in a foul mood. Look at his little angry <laughs> gestures there. I think that's inappropriate for YouTube. Wow. Let's give him some. Yeah. Give him some of the good news. I'll try and lift him off the motorcycle without destroying the Indian. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. All right, right in the AR-5 plate. Wow. Right, right in the AR-5 plate. Fast. Because this was up, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some clipped him right here. But something hit him hard enough to snap him in half. I'm wondering if one of those balls hit him somewhere else. Damn dirty ape. Now this shot was taken about 12 yards away. The balls are still riding in the wake of the slug. But after it clipped the ape in the hip there, it actually spilled all the balls out. Now you have to realize that when we're filming all this stuff, we have no idea what's actually happening to the projectiles as they're flying through the air. We don't really review the high-speed footage. But all in all, we had a heck of a lot of fun shooting these things because it's a lot more fun when you can hit what you're aiming at with a projectile than shooting something that's oddball and you miss every time. The question we gotta ask is, is a multi-projectile slug like this better than a just a one heavy singular slug? When you make something more complicated, adding more and more components to it, there's just more things that can go wrong and you'll have more inconsistencies. And we did see quite a few inconsistencies with this projectile. 
But all in all, it was accurate enough to do the job. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. You better believe it, buddy. <laughs>